poet who comes from the Pacific Northwest and has been somehow fated to live in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that like he does. You've ever met him at this point. Here's one of his idiot songs that I love. With unclean lips, at least, at least, at least, with unclean lips, at least, and yea, with unclean hands, encumbered heart, congested to these many years, with no small measure of regret, and sin's particular debris, oh, what an image, sin's, it was worth coming just for that image, sin's particular debris. With these and countless other dear impediments, dear impediments, why dear impediments? I stoop to find my knees, perhaps for that reason. Perhaps it's the impediments in our lives that finally drive us to our knees. Right? If we were perfect, how dull for God. <laughs> and how insufferable for our neighbors. <laughs> well, the fact that we're actually a work in progress, I remember. Now, my mother put that sign on my door once, and she was particularly irritated with work in progress. <laughs> I had reminded her that there was hope somehow for this teenager, work in progress. But sometimes these are the very things, that debris in our souls, that those impediments that we bring, that drive us to our knees. And for that reason, with the medieval, late medieval carol, O Felix Kulpa, O happy Kulpa, state, guilt, sorrow, confusion, debris, impediment, O happy thing that drives us to our knees. And on occasion, you, whose dimly figured face I dare pursue to searing clarity, have condescended, acquiesced, to grant what little I might be.